Today, we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da. You Orion. This is standard. What if I told you there was a combo in standard releasing on Tuesday with Outlaws of Thunder Junction that can kill you, take your life total from absolute whatever to zero, regardless of board state, regardless of what else happened into the game? Well, it's true. And it is the Bloodletter of Aklazot's Rush of Dread combo. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and I'll have to show it to you because it happened to me. And then I did it to others and it was stupid and insane. And you're going to hate it. It's going to happen to you. You have to know of its existence. You have to prepare for it. Cards like Cutdown that I've relied on for so long might be dead. They might be bad cards now because they don't kill Bloodletter of Aklazots. And if you don't kill Bloodletter of Aklazots, you could just be dead. Rush of Dread is one black black for a sorcery from Outlaws at Thunder Junction as Spree. The plus one is target opponent sacrifices half the creatures they control rounded up. Yay. The plus two. Target opponent discards half the cards in their hand. Round it up. Ew. Terrorgrid loves both of these things. But this is not what matters. What matters. Plus two. Target opponent loses half their life. Rounded up. If you have five mana and you spree this rush of dread with that third mode with a bloodletter of Aklazots on the table, their life total is gone because the opponent would lose double twice that much life and since it rounds up it doesn't matter what their life total is it could be 501 they're gonna die it doesn't matter they're just roasted and the rest of the deck is about making that happen i'm running duelist of the mind because i think that card is really good and it helps dig for your combo because more of our deck is about committing crimes with go for the throat virtue and cut down we're running tiny bones it's a good little distraction gix is another good little distraction gix and bat are a wonderful combo they can set you up for victory but they're all a bit of a distraction from the combo that takes over now we never did the mind link mech synergy with the blood letter that is also very good domes the opponent really quickly for 16 i believe because you have a copy that's the mind link mech when the blood letter crews it so that hits really hard but say they deal with it say they kill the mind link mech well they better also kill the blood letter because next turn rush of dread their life total goes to zero and even if they kill it what if you just bring back the blood letter with your virtue of persistence and then cast rush of dread and they die you see what i'm getting at it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what they do. If they don't solve this, the game is over. Your life total will be zero and you won't even know why. Thank you to the sponsors of this video. They helped me shed a light on the degenerate things available from this new format. Oh my gosh. So thank you to CoolStuffInc.com and thank you very much also to Ultimate Guard. The links in the description help support the channel. And thank you to Wizards for the early access to this set to really uncover some of the nonsense that goes on in this western themed pile of mythic insanity so thanks for the early access event it was a lot of fun even if i made everybody hate me watch this video to see why let's dive in let the nonsense begin hello gg well done on the name way to get there combo We'll see if we can get to do it. We're on the draw with no removal. Merfolk? Alright. What is this? Mill four cards and put two cards or lands from among milled into your hand. And put two creature cards from your hand onto battlefield. Creatures with power four gain hexproof. Yeah, okay, stuff's happening. I, d I am lost already. I don't know where this is going. Uh, proliferate. That's nice. Okay, we need to block that. I think it's... If they... If he's got a perfect draw, and just from here he removes the duelist or something, and we lose, then we lose. But let's let's block that thrumming bird. That's the plan. Cool. It's <laughs> great. <gasps> What 
the heck? Oh look, Terror of the Peaks in hand to go with the invasion, to go with this. Oh my God. All right. Please proliferate your battle. It works perfectly, I swear. Behold, crime. What's the discard? I think we're discarding the mech. Next turn is bat, throat, probably, into Aklazots, into Rush. The only thing that might save us is that this terror doesn't come down next turn. This can't be a relevant playable card that will impact the game this turn, right? It can't be. Not gonna be. Okay. Gimme. That's a crime. That's a crime. Gimme that. Thank you. I would like to continue my crimes. disrupted what <laughs> you okay to the okay <laughs> I'm nervous I'm scared I mean it's just an elk right maybe it's a draw just slam the abs man just slam the abs <laughs> he doesn't like deal with anything but yeah just I'm digging taking. here let's see what happens gotta discard two cards hopefully they don't find some kind of removal the only thing we've, we've seen strangle we see invasion and i don't know what to think of this card is it you gain hexproof features power four gain hexproof gix is here i think i gotta go for the I've got to go for what we came here to do, right? No interaction, just a terror of the peaks. Uh, okay. <laughs> the terror of the peaks is back in the hand. It's not on the field. Oko copying terror is, is I think the word is terrifying. Terrifying. Discarding Odawara. Crimes have been committed. Recruiter. Oko becomes what? Recruiter. What is going on? What are we recruiting? I don't know. You're falling behind. I feel, I, I don't feel behind. No blocks. Well, this is all a lot of creative stuff happening and I'm just going to poop all over it. That's what I'm gonna do. Just, just do this. I'd feel bad if it didn't feel so good. Hello, hello, welcome one and all to CGB's Yorian Emporium and Magic Sensei Cabana Dojo. I am your host, the one and only Covert Go Blue. Folks, have you ever experienced the heartbreak of a bent card? The agony of a spilled drink at FNM ruining your prize deck? We've all been there, haven't we? Well, fear not. The ultimate in card protection is now a proud partner of the dojo. Introducing Ultimate Guard. 
Ultimate Guard sleeves and deck boxes aren't just insurance for your cards, they're protection for your soul. You'll have to sleeve it to believe it. Behold, black Cortex sleeves from Ultimate Guard. Precise inner sleeves from Ultimate Guard. We have a mock sapphire, conservatively priced at $5,000. Three, two, one. Why, 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 why? Why? Whether you're a casual kitchen table conjurer or grandmaster mage, deck protection is essential for absolutely everybody. And CGB's Your In Emporium, we don't just sell gear, we sell victories. An ultimate guard will defend your victory to the very end. Wow, I can't believe that it has this much water, but isn't it impressive how much water a mox can take? Whoa! Oh my god! So come on down for the ultimate in card protection and tell them Covert Go Blue sent you for a deal so good, it's almost magic! And remember, with Ultimate Guard, you have to sleeve it to believe it. Yellow Hat, Control Pro, who killed me on like turn three or four with Monastery Swift Spear last time we played. The surveilling begins. Glimpse the core. Ramp is happening. Let's get in that hand. What you doing? Um. Wow. Enters the battlefield tapped. Make your own luck. That's a lot of cards. Itali is very good. Yeah, I have mill four creatures or lands in hand. And then this, a six five. Search your library for a desert put on the battlefield tab. Wow. Okay. Like, I don't know what to take. I'm going to take the card draw. This is a bizarre desert ramp deck. I want to see what this does. This could be crazy. But we'll get Gix Bat going and see if we can assemble our combo. Only one land there, but Armadillo, basically a land. Easy. Never didn't have it. Ow. A familiar sight, I'm sure, if you've played standard. Okay. You just have to curve out. You have to curve out. So that is a desert. This has flash. What are you? 6-5 Trample. Wow. That's huge. I don't see any removal, though. Let's see if we can get there. You don't reach, do you? God, I was scared. All right, untapped land, baby. Easy. Untapped land. Has reach. Okay, it's got to be a land. We get the land. No reach creature will save you. This is how you beat a Hall of Famer. Let me let me just note. You just get good, like me. CGB. Skill game! Classic silver. It's Seth, better known as Saffron O. Because of character limits. This hand, let's do it. Combo in hand, just gotta draw land. A harvest. Cut down would have been great here. Let's go with the duelist. Next turn, the cavern bat could commit a crime that could draw us what we need.
double. Ooh, are you gonna kill my duelist? I hate you. <laughs> Land, please. Tiny bones! All right, mana screwed. That's, that's fun. Love that. All right. Do not want tiny bones stealing my things. The value is insane. A face down card has been played. A land drop has been missed. We still have to get through this harvester or else it can kill any one of our things. So I guess we pass. The harvester has to be throated. Hmm. Not attacking? What are you afraid of? That's a land. Let's set up carefully. What do you do? Wait, this is a handoff. So what's the face down creature? I have no idea. When this enters the battlefield, you draw three, gain six. Oh my God, make three bats. Oh my God. This is such clown behavior. I'll take the arc fiend. <laughs> oh my God. It, there it is. Two life, sack a creature. What is, okay, it's blue. It's coveted falcon, right? That's the card. So we have to, is it any number? And what is it to turn face up? I don't remember. Hopefully it's too much mana to play another gambit and also turn this face up to give me both, hopefully. If not, we're gonna lose. So let's go. We gotta do it. I am a Falcon gamer. I am a Falconer. Oh God, here it is. Here it is. Yep. Oh, the blood tokens. Okay. Oh, to draw three cards. I see you. All right, don't kill this. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Yes. Yes. Thank God I don't have to lose to this today because my combo's too busted. Dreams destroyed. <laughs> I can't even, man. He had so much value. He had so much value. And his life total zero from 22. Reddit's gonna be angry. The casuals are gonna be angry. They're like gonna retire from magic or something. Again, just like last meta. <laughs> just like last time. Just like last time. I mean, it's Aklazots, right? You just gotta kill the, you just gotta kill the Aklazati thing. You just gotta kill the vampire. The blood letter, you just gotta kill it. You gotta kill it. It dies to Doomblade. What's so hard about this? Kibbler. Kibbler. All right, Kibbler. Here come the dragons. Let's go. I'm gonna pick your pocket. Sanctum. Do list. Now I just need to commit some crimes. Give me a target. Thank you. That is definitely a target. And that is a nasty play.
That sequence is rude. Oh, that is so mean. That is available on turn three. Arsonist is pretty good. But what will Arsonist target? Okay. Your thing, my treasure. You need to hit this land drop. You can hit a land drop. You commit a crime. Darn. Whoa. Okos. I guess I leave you with one Oko. The only reasonable play. Let's pick. If I can draw a card, I can get you. Oh, blocking the Death Toucher. Okay. Bill is back. I kind of wanted the treasure, I'm not gonna lie. All right, Abs. What you doing? There's the land. You can have a counter. One oak go down, one to go. Huh. I was tired of you anyway. No combo required. The blood letter too scary. Next opponent. Tiny Bones is back. I oh man, do we save the springs? Let's see what happens on turn one. Let's go for it. Straight to them bones. Sharp-eyed rookie, you say? That's a crime. Well, I don't think I attack. I could virtue this. But I think I want the duelist down. You get so much more value. Speaking of value, they can investigate here. If they play a creature bigger than the rookie. Yeah, this is a combo-free game. We don't have either side of the combo, but we can commit crimes and draw cards. You're plotting against me? When it enters the battlefield, add one man of any color. Whenever another creature with power four or greater enters, draw a card. That's a pretty wild one. Which type of crimes do we commit here? Is this a Gix turn? Seems like a really good Gix turn. Yeah, we got a block on Tiny Bones. They were scared. There's the untapped land for the Bloodletter. Ramping begins. What is the five mana play? The Hydra. Yikers. That's a hit. <laughs> That's a big hit. Go for the throat. When it dies, create a number of tap treasure tokens equal to its power. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Prime time. I know, free crime, but we're curving too well. Ha, <laughs> you. No deserts yet. Plot, 
plus three, plus two, and trample. Does this already trample? It already does. I'll take the big one. Man, what a dies ability on this Hydra. It's insane. Is green plotting aggro good? There's a few cards that make me wonder. I, getting hit for seven here is not nothing. That's half my life. Whoa! And removal? What a top deck. Holy crap. Look at this curve. This curve is flawless. Double blood letter. Double blood letter. This doesn't have haste. Okay. If they draw another Hydra. I could be in big trouble. They won't draw a Hydra. They don't have it. It could just be dead next turn to good old fashioned double Aklazots. You don't always have to have the combo. Okay, that doesn't fly. That does not fly. Hello? <laughs> what was that? What was that? It, like, was, was it mathing? The client was like, huh, how, what? What was that? That moment scared me. It was like, it was like when you hit them with an infect creature. Kibler returns. Let's see if Oko's abs can have revenge. Uh, Mindling Mac, let's do this. This hand is nuts. The vine stalk is back. All right. And drop a batty bat. A car. Yeah. So many good things. Look at these. Target creature gets minus one, minus O. Oh, minus four if you control an outlaw. All right. I got to grab your duelist of the mind. I'm sorry. Card is absolutely sweet. Neck up. I wonder how Mech, like, I wonder if Mech goes in the Oko deck, right? Like, would Kibler's deck like it? He's already trying to take advantage of Oko's static ability. All right, I'm guessing this becomes treasure. And then we can play second Mech. Second mech fist. <laughs> or we can cut it down or virtue it. Let's do that. There is a second larcenist that we have to be prepared for here. Mega bat! Behold. Mega omega bat. Look out. 3-3 three, three reach. Got it. Stands up to the mech nicely. Also, there's Trixie this thing. Minus four until end of turn if you control an outlaw. You're an outlaw. How do we draw out the action? I think we go to the tiny bones. And a second mech. But we don't want to attack with a mech here because block and then minus four minus O draw a card just absolutely blows us out. All right, making the play. It gets a land and draws a card. That's actually a really sweet trick.
larceny. Power up. I will become a tapped treasure token as Tiny Bones the pickpocket. What does this do? Draw two. Okay. But not doing it. Is it an instant? It's not. What have you got? What are your shenanigans? I guess we'll try this. This can give it death touch, but still falls victim to take the fall. But I think we have to try. No, in that case, we do it with the bat, right? I guess we can send both. It's pretty good. Nah, we send we send the pickpocket. I wanna I wanna cast something from your graveyard. Man, they really don't want people running into secret reach by accident anymore. They must have stats on how many rage scoops that causes a day. No tiny bones! There's the fall. Okay. Dude, Lush Oasis, nice. So much criminal activity. We go to 30. I'm trying to pave the way, but there's so much interaction. Two cards, no crimes yet. Another one. It's another one. Always another one. Okay. Uh, maybe? No. Not today. Patience. Are you out of tricks yet? Oh my god, the third one? Woo! That is... That's really nice. That is an impressive trick. The sizing is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. On that spell. Okay. Double the number of counters on creatures you control. Oh my. At some point, maybe there won't be a take the fall and a kite sail larcenist in his hand. Maybe. Maybe. He is a pro. He is, an, he is a multi-game pro. And you don't get there by ever running out of interaction. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt bad. Casual nine. We go to 20. That is a tapped Risen Reef. Tradesy. This lookout has done so much work. It's been kind of insane. Not number four. 
Athawara. That's a crime. That's a crime? Are Destroyed. <laughs> Just wrecked. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Love this for me. Too much crime, man. It's too much crime. Look at all these lands. All, like this one card that somehow I cannot remove. Is it enough? It has to be 19. You got it? Activation, you got it? Even. Perfect even Stevens. That was insane. That was insane. Hey guys, this is an outro that I'm going to staple on a few of the OTJ early access videos. Thanks again to Wizards of the Coast for letting me participate in the event. Thank you to the sponsors of my channel, CoolStuffInc.com and Ultimate Guard for sponsoring all of these videos. And thank you to you. You stayed till the end. That is the best thing you can do to support the channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. And it's a recorded outro because I have to travel. I'm leaving tomorrow. It will be Thursday, April 11th for... I don't know when you're going to watch this, but I will be in Portland doing some other content stuff until Monday. I'll be back late Monday night, and then on Tuesday of next week is the release of Outlaws of Thunder Junction for the public, and we'll try to do another live stream that day as long as I'm feeling well to really show off what these decks can do on ladder. So that's the programming update. Thank you to everybody who checks out the videos. Also, thank you to everybody who checks out the other things that we're trying out on the channel, such as the Oko video a certain special video that is coming out tomorrow if you're watching this on Thursday and you know what it is afterwards. Uh, a little different game. A little different game. We never do that on the channel. And we're trying it. How exciting. And also thank you to everybody who checks out the Worst Possible Commander show for more exciting stuff. I believe episode 100 is airing this weekend. That's a really big deal for me and for the crew. So, uh, like, like I said, you made it till the end. That's the best thing you can do. But top it off. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next ones. You're cool.